Palomino's Backpack Hard Side Max, and the floor plan is the 2902. It weighs 3,261 pounds the way that we have it equipped, and the length is 18 feet 4 inches. The floor length of the coach is 9 feet. And this is Palomino's premium product with insulated and frameless windows. It's got a heated basement, and this camper is ready for adventure. Palomino's exclusive front cap windshield opens this expansive living space and creates an absolutely inviting atmosphere. Now, this floor plan is set up for a three-quarter ton truck with a six and a half all the way up to an eight-foot bed. Come check this out with me, and I'm gonna show you exactly what this thing has to offer. Hey guys, we're sitting in the 2902. I'm actually in the dinette, in the slide out of this camper. This drops down into additional sleeping, so this floor plan can sleep up to four people. Now the cool thing about this is this actually has MCD roller shades, which pull down, and you'll see them on the outside, but these are actually frameless insulated windows. The advantage to these is they open from the bottom, so you can actually keep them open while it's raining outside and you're still gonna get some nice airflow if it's a nice day outside besides the rain. I'm gonna probably look at my notes throughout this video because there is just so much on this truck camper and I wanna make sure that I give you the best in-depth walkthrough and I don't miss anything. So one of the things that we're gonna do in just a second is we're gonna go up front, but before that, I do wanna talk about this beautiful flooring. This is called the Congolium flooring, and underneath is a plywood floor substrate. So uh, what that means to me, the average consumer, is plywood is better than OSB. Plywood is more resistant to water. Plywood is a better structure that doesn't lose integrity if there's ever any water intrusion or spills or anything like that inside the camper. The other thing is Congolium, the flooring or the linoleum on top is name brand and it's designed to protect against cold cracking. So if this thing is in storage or anything of that nature down the road, you're not gonna have to worry about any splits or cracks or anything of that nature. This one's also equipped with an 11 cubic foot refrigerator, and this is Everchill's dual opening. This is super, super cool. So if you're in the kitchen, you open it this way. If you're not in the kitchen and you're in the bed and you need a snack, you can open it this way. This is something that very, very few brands are doing, and Palomino just wants to give you the best ease of use in this truck camper. Now up top, you're gonna see here, this is a roof-mounted air conditioner. This is equipped with the optional 11,000 BTU AC unit. Most truck campers or small travel trailers in this size segment are gonna be uh, with an air conditioner, like either a window unit that sits in the side of the camper that's either a five or an 8,000 BTU. Not this Palomino, this comes with 11,000, so it's gonna cool this space really, really nice. Now with that, it does have a block, a high density block foam insulation. So that's gonna keep the cool in when the air conditioner is running during the summer. It's gonna keep the heat in during the winter when you've got the furnace running. So that is a really, really nice aspect. We talked about the insulated windows. Now we talked about the high density block foam that it's built with. There are other truck campers on the market that aren't going to have the same insulation value that this will. Um, along with that, Underneath that substrate floor that we talked about the plywood, there is 12 volt tank heaters. So you've got a fresh water tank and a gray water tank and a black water tank, and they are really big on this Palomino. So 45 gallon fresh water tank, that's enormous. I have 30 foot travel trailers that don't have that big of a fresh tank on my lot, which is awesome. It also has 20 gallon gray, 20 gallon wastewater, both separate tanks as well. And those all have that, the 12 volt heating pads as well as being heated and enclosed. So it's gonna have forced air heat going to that and it's enclosed in there as well so you can do four season camping um, in this camper now this particular one has mortise and tenon cabinets so these are a hardwood cabinet you're actually going to see these throughout the coach they are a very nice white color uh, but still they have got that natural wood look and they're just beautiful and they've got really nice catches so when you're when you're going down the road, you don't have to worry about this popping open, um, whether in your kitchen or here, but this has got some hanging storage. So you've got some clothes hanging area right there. This also has foot lockers on side of the bed. These are really nice deep cabinets as well on both sides. So you can keep some additional items in there. And then these are open cabinets on here. So this is gonna be things like um, 
you know, any of your socks, underwear, anything like that, that you would just want to keep nice and close to the bed. But up top, you've got a, a really nice wrap around uh, surface area where you could put iPad, laptop, cell phone, anything of that nature. And there's USB and GFCI protected uh, 110 outlets on both sides. And then there's his and hers reading lights. These are adjustable. You can kind of turn them. And um, again, we talked about these roller shades. These are all the way around. Um, besides your front windshield, this is going to have pull down shades, but the nice thing is you can really black this coach out um, and get some nice sleeping. If you wanted to take a nap during the day, you've got that ability. But look at the natural light in here without the, without the lights on during the day. This is going to be a really, really bright coach with the color of the cabinets and all the natural lighting. You do have a, an exit window on this side, but you can still open that, which is really nice. So you can get a cross breeze by your bed. Again, some additional storage that comes with it. I love that this TV will swing out so you can see it from the bed. You could also see it from the dinette. You could see it from the kitchen if you're doing some prep and cooking. It is equipped with the Jensen AM FM CD DVD player radio and some additional hidden storage down here with kind of a false bottom right here to this cabinet, which is really, really nice. I'm actually sitting on this residential 60 by 80 queen mattress. This thing is super, super comfortable. And a lot of travel trailers, fifth wheels, motorhomes even, and, and truck campers, they're notorious for having very chintzy cheap mattresses. And the first thing that people have to do is replace them. Not this one. You're gonna get a really good night's sleep with this 60 by 80 residential queen. You can also buy sheets and comforter and stuff like that at the normal store you don't have to buy these specific because they're a short queen if you're six foot or over like me this is really nice to have that 80 length so your feet aren't hanging off as well and then getting in and out of this it also has a double step and you'll notice that this is a lighted step a lot of truck campers will have a single step here and having that double step is just really nice and and you don't have to worry about kind of falling out of bed with that double step and one thing that we talk about as we go through this, and I'll continuously talk about, is the amount of storage. So now we're in the kitchen area, just tons and tons of storage. Okay, you've got overhead storage here. You've got a tip-out tray here for your cleaning and stuff like that, utensils. Spot for a trash can here. Full extension ball bearing drawer glides, and these are nice and weight bearing, so you can actually put some heavy stuff in here, and you notice this is actual hard wood. Two more full extension ball bearing drawer glide drawers. And then you have an adjustable shelf pantry that can also be taken out and you've got additional hanging storage if need be, but that is kind of, you have it however you'd like it. They, they make it customizable for you. This kitchen is really nice. It has a deep stainless steel farm style sink with a nice high rise faucet. This is a really nice faucet. It's nicer than the one I've got at home is really slick and this is super nice this is a roll out drying rack you could also use this as doubles as a cutting board and you can literally fold it up to wherever you want use the other half to wash those dishes and some to dry they didn't skimp on this kitchen they give you a three burner cooktop by suburban this is a really nice setup a lot of the campers are kind of skimping and tr and trimming down to a two burner uh, the advantage that three is you can cook any meal that you want here and you you don't leave the oven behind either. A lot of campers are, are eliminating that oven, but you're not giving up much storage by, by having that. And then you've got a microwave up top as well as uh, a hood vent. And then again, one of the places that uh, RV manufacturers sometimes will skimp a little bit is they don't do a backsplash. This one's got a little bit of a backsplash to protect when you're making some, uh, some meals. You don't have to worry about any splatter, you know, sticking to the sidewalls here. This, this uh, backsplash will be easy to clean up. Again, another window here in the, uh, in the kitchen. And again, those are insulated frameless windows, which you'll see on the outside. So very, very cool. This camper is just laid out perfect. They thought of everything in this floor plan and this is why it's one of our hottest sellers. There's just so much to see in this. You can see up as, as you're looking towards the front, just tons and tons of natural light. Obviously we've got the, the LED lights on in here, but tons and tons of natural lights. And actually one of the cool things that you'll notice, I can turn this dimmer off. There's three lights that that's controlling. You see under uh, the bed right there, on your step here as well. And then as we move towards the back of the camper, you've got this little bookshelf, storage shelf, 
and that turns that up and down. So you've got the ability to, to have that kind of backlit. So if you're going to bed, but you still wanna be able to see to use the restroom or whatever need be, you can just flip that on kind of a medium setting. You turn the rest of the lights off and you'll be able to see just enough to get around your coach safely. Now we're in the back of the 2902 and I wanna show a couple things Number one, this is our Happy Jack remote. This is what's gonna control the up and down of those jacks, getting it on and off the truck. It just makes it super simple and easy to do, to level it, get it ready. Now we just dropped this off the truck and lowered it down so it's easier to get in and out of. As it sits on your truck, it's probably gonna need to go up. So, uh, but as you can see, you've got a step here and then you've got the bumper and then a step on the inside of the coach so it's easy to get in and out of. Uh, along with that, they do a large assist grab handle, which is standard on this. This is cool. This actually comes with a bumper and there is some additional storage on both sides of this. This is a nice lockable area where you can put things like your sewer hose or things that are going to mostly be outside uh, and um, uh, you can lock that up again so you don't have to worry about someone getting in there. Um, as I mentioned on the inside, all the interior lights are LED, but so are the exterior lights. So your, your tail lights, backup, turn, all that stuff are LED lights. Makes it brighter, easier to see, and less chance that you're gonna have to replace them over a lifetime. Uh, LED lights in both of the awnings, and I say both, there is a second additional side awning, which we're gonna see in just a second. You've got your rear awning, this will come all the way out. It's about eight feet long, so you're gonna have some nice camp space right here behind the door, but you're also going to have your campsite side of things where you'll have an armless awning. So it's gonna give you a little bit more clearance so you don't have to worry about um, you know, running into the arms or anything like that. Just tons and tons of, um, of camp space. This particular one also has a motion light on here <laughs> on cue, um, as you're walking in and out of the coach that will flip on and uh, be able to see back here, which is really, really nice to have. So follow me along to the campsite here where you're gonna have your 30 pound propane tank behind this door here. And you've got your gray water and sewer outlet connections right here. And these are nice, they are uh, slam latch baggage doors. These are nice high end latches it's just going to be nice and easy to close this one actually will lock as well so nobody can get in there this is also going to have a um, hot and cold outdoor shower this does have a quick connect with a little curly hose and a sprayer so you can actually hook it up here have a hot and cold outdoor shower you can wash dishes outside you can spray your dog off or if you go to the beach and you need to clean your feet it's really nice to be able to do that it also has a detachable 30 amp power cord this is really nice when it is in storage you can actually take that off you don't have to worry about it outside um, in in the elements you can actually just put it right inside lock it into place if you go to a park that has cable and or satellite or you've got your satellite dish on top or whatever you've got access to plug that in here and that will uh, allow your tv to operate on the inside and you've got some additional GFCI electrical outlets here so you can plug an exterior TV in. If you've got a camp um, table here and you wanna do a skillet or do some outdoor cooking, that kind of thing, you can plug in right there. This also has a um, on-demand water heater, which is really nice, not have to worry about running out of hot water. And again, as we mentioned, it's got a 45 gallon freshwater tank. So that is a huge, huge benefit. And then you've got city and freshwater connection. If you're not familiar with what that is, if you go to a campground that has water hookups, so you have a water hose, you'll plug it into this one. That will give you constant water. If you have a, um, either a state park or a more rustic campground, You'll actually unscrew this, you'll fill it up with a hose, and this will fill up that 45 gallon freshwater tank. So this is constant water, this is the tank. Just really nice to have uh, both of those there. As you come to the front, this is a really cool little section I wanna show you. Right here is positive and negative. This is a spot where you would plug in to charge your battery. If you wanted to, if you got a dead battery or you just wanted to put a trickle charge on it, you can do that right here. This also will come with a seven-way extension. So a lot of truck campers, you're gonna need a seven-way extension or you're gonna have to wire a um, seven-way plug in the back of your truck. With this seven-way extension, you plug right in here and then it actually can uh, hold itself right here in this little bracket there, but it comes standard with that so you don't have to buy it. 
Then you notice there's a little switch here. This is for the LED light strip on the front, which you'll see it's a nice blue light that shows kind of that Palomino off, and I think it's really cool. And then it also has a battery disconnect switch. This is really nice. If the camper's ever in storage, you flip that off and then it takes any draw away from you know, things like the microwave light or the smoke detector or anything of that nature. If you want to keep it on and, um, you know, you, you don't have snow on the solar panels or anything like that, the battery disconnect switch can stay on and it'll keep trickle charging that battery with those solar panels. This is some additional access. You've got battery here, you've got uh, the, those hoses and the extensions and the power cord that I talked about. And actually you can see the welded frame and your plywood flooring on this, but they make it easy to access some of the electrical, anything like that. So if you ever did need to get in there for anything, there are some access points throughout the coach, which is really nice. A lot of campers, everything's covered up. This gives you a few access points for that. This one also has bumpers on the front here, so when you are putting it into the back of your truck, these bumpers are gonna hit before this actually hits and scrapes and causes damage. So these are kind of a safety point where you're putting the coach in uh, into the back of your truck, which is really slick. On the front of the coach, it has a Linex front. So this is the same material that they're gonna use in a lot of bed liners and pickup trucks. It's a spray-in style. This is gonna protect this from road debris, stone chips, rocks, anything like that. But it is a molded fiberglass front cap. So this is a fantastically uh, put together camper and that, that um, molded fiberglass front cap is a really nice feature. And then it does have an automotive style windshield on the front. And one thing that, that you saw from the inside that just provides a lot of natural light inside the camper. So I wanna talk about the construction of this Palomino truck camper. So this is a high gloss fiberglass gel coat. This is a very high end, nice smooth sided. You don't see any of the fibers like you do on some of the travel trailers out there. So this is a higher grade material that they're using on these truck campers. With that, uh, as mentioned already on the inside, but it is a high density block foam insulation and it is a welded cage aluminum frame. So what that does is it just makes it a little bit lighter on the inside instead of using a Luon or a wood backed interior, it's also got Asdell. So with Asdell construction, there are a few huge advantages to Asdell. One of which are that they are um, lighter than wood by about 50%. It also has over three times insulation value that, that a Luon would have. So that's huge, keeping the cool in during the summer, keeping the heat in during the winter, um, keeping the heat out during the summer on the exterior. So it just, it, it, it's the best way to build a camper and they're starting to do that now. Also, when they're constructing that with Asdell, it's odorless, okay? So there's no formaldehyde. If you've ever walked into a camper and noticed that, there's no formaldehyde in that, so that's odorless. It's more sound resistant and energy proof. So um, it, it dampens noise, dampens blows. If, you know, if something hits it with you know, a baseball from the neighbor's campsite or something like that, it's just gonna protect it a little bit more. It also won't delaminate, so if water intrusion gets in, it's gonna protect that more. Um, it cannot delaminate because it is actually waterproof. It can't rot, mold, or absorb any water. Um, they actually did a test, took a chunk of it, and sat it in water for over 30 days, and it didn't absorb any of that water, which is really cool and just a testament to what Asdell does for campers, which is really awesome. And then it's impact and puncture resistant, and the best of all, it's made in the great old US of A. So it's not something that we have to wait for it to ship from overseas. It's built right here in America, as well as these Palominos are built in the great state of Michigan, in the Mitten State. So that is really, really cool. Um, on the outside as well on this camper, uh, again, this is your slide out. I was sitting on the inside in that dinette, but there is some access behind the refrigerator. There's an exterior access panel. There's also an access panel to get underneath. Um, and then this also has a 48 inch wheel well stance. So um, if you measure on your truck and you've got 48 inches there, this should fit on, again, three quarter ton, six and a half to eight foot bed. If you're not sure if your truck is capable of holding this camper, give us a call. We'll be happy to help you. We're experts on trying to figure out payload capacities, carrying capacities, 
getting the right tie downs, having all the right equipment. We pride ourselves in being experts in truck campers and anything having to do with RVing. If we don't know the answer, we'll find out for you. So let us know, give us a call below and we'll handle that. Hey RVers or future RVers, thank you for doing this walk around on this 2902 Palomino backpack, Hardside Max. Thank you for walking through and sitting through the information that I've given you. If you've got questions on this, if you have questions on your vehicle, if it's capable of hauling this thing, if you need tie downs, fast guns, any of that information, please give us a call at the number below. We are happy to help. If we don't know the information, we will find it out for you. We consider ourselves expert in the industry and we are Michigan's Palomino dealer. Please give us a holler at the number below. And again, you can use this thing year round in the summer to go to the state park, in the fall to go on a color tour, in the winter to go snowboarding, snowmobiling, even taking it ice fishing. This is the four season camper to do it in. Again, if you've got questions, we're happy and eager to help. Give us a call at the number below.